So guys, I was going through the numbers earlier today and I found out something crazy. Okay, think about it. Jim Chanos, short seller of AMC, he said that he's going long on Ape. And think about it. He can represent any other short seller current for AMC stock, but simply they're not going on air and saying what their strategy is. Jim Chanos verified that his strategy is to not close his short position on AMC until the APE is equal to AMC stock, until he's able to convert his APE into AMC and close his short position on a very cheap price. He expects at certain point in the future APE to be equal AMC. And guys, nobody actually put a deeper thought into this because he opened his new short position in AMC in August. He went long on APE couple of weeks after the APE was released for public trade. And think about it, since August he didn't initiate to close his short position. What he did, he went in offense. He purchased as much as possible from the APE, hoping that the APE will become AMC. This is where the biggest risk, in my opinion, is coming into play. Remember how when the APE was actually available for trading on the open market, still a lot of APEs didn't receive their, their dividend, but the APE was on the open market and we saw a lot of institutional ownership. Remember there was a fund, Millennium Fund, who acquired millions of dollars worth of APE. There were a bunch of other institutional investors who purchased as much as APE they could possibly get from the market. And applying this information after what Jim Chano said, everything now makes perfect sense. What we can speculate over here is that none of the short sellers right now are put to the corner. None of the short sellers have to close or cover their short position simply because they can procrastinate this moment. Why? Because they can simply acquire more and more and more ape on every single dip. And the idea over here is that, you know what? If AMC actually equals the ape, which is two, three dollars, right? This could be a major win because they don't see actually AMC going down to three dollars on its own. Uh, this is why the dilution, healthy dilution, even for the company, bringing the ape lower, issuing more apes, right? Hoping uh, on the short side to bring AMC also down. The idea over here is that the ape will go to a dollar, dollar fifty, right? AMC, how low it could go, right? Six, five. Four dollars. So the whole idea over here is that if we assume that each and every institutional investor short on AMC will think and act like Jim Chanos, even though Jim Chanos has relatively small short position. Uh, and if we assume that the other short sellers are acting like him, they don't have any any plans to, to close their short position. Uh, they're planning to close their short position only when AMC equals APE. And I know a lot of people might say, but you know, this conversion from APE into AMC stock should pass the individual investor's vote, right? So far, it is like this, but who knows how they're actually going to change it in the future. But the idea over here is that something that was issued from the company, from AMC, that currently, obviously, it's very obvious that has been used uh, as a leverage from the short sellers, it's mind-blowing. I just realized this because nobody was actually paying attention. Sure, he is hoping AMC to go lower, uh, but people were saying, you know, he could buy AMC, but that's it. Nobody even went through the additional thoughts and put into perspective that if he actually buys, uh, you know, more AMC or actually holds more AMC converted from the ape. And remember, guys, he shorted back in August when AMC was in completely different levels. So if they convert the APE into AMC, let's say at $5 and he have AMC at $5, right? He, he, he will collect uh, this $3 difference per share because he will have the shares. He will return the shares that he shorted to the broker and he will collect this margin of $3 per share. This is how you exactly could have an approximate uh, estimate when they're planning to close their short position. You see what was AMC stock price back in August and you look and you try to estimate how much money they're looking to make, you know, depend on the position, uh, probably looking to make a three, four, five dollars per share 
This means that AMC should go down 3, 4, 5 dollars. Leave your thoughts in the comment section guys, subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more. Yeah.